when I um, <laughs> did my little wrap for you, I think you guys said it was black. I was trying to be black, and I point out it's an all white band. Do you have a black guy? I don't think you have a black guy. Anyways, predominantly white band. Uh, yeah, white band. Um, if not all white. Bloodhound Gang, which is like a comedy band. Okay, um, Macklemore, you guys said that that comment was indicative of some bullshit, <laughs> and, I, and I pointed out, well, that comment's kind of accurate if you don't take things so fucking literally, like, this is why people have wars over the Bible and shit, it's this kind of thing. So I point out, okay, Macklemore is Irish, super Irish. You know, the history of Irish, they weren't even considered white by Americans, like even a hundred years ago, you guys, pretty recently. Okay, and the reason, there's a lot of reasons, but they're, they are heavily, of all the white people on the planet, the Irish are the most oppressed white people I can think of, okay? And that's why they're so fucking awesome, because they have that fighting spirit and that fuck you man, and it's, there is a saying about it relating to, uh, that kid, okay. And so when I was talking <laughs> sarcastically about the president, I said, who's that good looking white, who's that good looking black guy? I go, oh, it's Macklemore. And it was my way, and then I sent him a link to Chris Rock, because I was pissed off that he was uh, pretending he didn't know what Creamy Crack was when his wife uses it. I was like, oh, you're, oh, really? You're gonna pretend that you don't know black shit, then you must not be black. And then you're gonna stand there with Macklemore, like, you know something. I was starting to get really irritated. So I had to know that Macklemore was Irish. Okay, this is some music knowledge. Um, and I'd have to know that he would be on the side of the underdog. Okay. Oh, and what is evidence of that? Because he does his own shit, dude. He's like a pioneer in doing his own shit and, and writing whatever he wants in the way that he wants, exactly. Okay. You guys said that I hate classic rock. And then I point out that I've not only have I shared classic rock on my Facebook, but when I covered songs, I covered like a couple of classic rock songs. I think you said I hate classic rock, and then you said that I'm like huge on the Rolling Stones. I'm, like, I'm okay on the Rolling Stones. I mean, I think they're really solid, but you always turn something into a thing. Eminem. First of all, you guys said that I had seen Eight Mile or something. Sorry, I haven't seen. I'm sure it's wonderful. I, I missed it. I haven't seen it. I think you guys said it was like a fanatic or something. I think you're trying to make me into Stan. That's what I think is happening right now. I'm like, no. What? No. Here, here are all the things I can think of that I've said about the man that you might have recorded. Here we go. God damn it. Okay, so Philip and I had played the get more. Well, I had asked a question outside because we were talking about different stuff. And I'm like, who is the celebrity you would bang? And he answered. And I didn't have an answer. And then when we went into the restaurant, I was like, oh, anti NWO. So Eminem. But then I realized Eminem does this. And I was like, maybe he's not anti NWO. Never mind, but it's like, it's not like you have a list, you guys. It's kind of hard to know, like, who is anti, like, I don't know. If there were a list, it would be helpful. So, anyway, um, that's what that was. And then the, uh, the what the fuck, man? And then, outside the, um, yeah, culture. Um, moron, dude. Guns and Roses, it's a brand new shirt. But you know what the name of Guns N' Roses song. Um, oh yeah, Guns N' Roses. Is this because I talked about Axl Rose? Oh, he's really weird. Because he is, dude. I was watching a documentary and I was like, oh, it's kind of weird, man. Good afternoon. 
Um, and, um, what can I think of that? It's cute. Um, M&M. And then the only other thing, so I'm outside the cop station and there's a piece of paper and it had his song, but just like the voices in my head because we're trying to go for some of the shit, but it's not my handwriting. I was like, what is this shit? And I was like ripping him off, but it was shitty. And I was like, okay, and I threw it away. So you don't even have me writing it. You don't even have me reading it. I just threw it. Well, you might have me reading it, but I just tossed it in the thing. I don't like litter. That's why I don't pick up litter anymore. Even though I want to. Uh, and then the only other thing I can think was I was in Kevin's room, and we were listening to the breakdown of one of his songs, and I was just like fucking blown away because it's so complex and I was like what we have to replay that and I made him replay it a couple times so I was just like trying to comprehend how it's it's really fucking amazing how he breaks things down is like really gifted like really fucking amazing so I don't I don't know what you're on about <laughs> Snoop Dogg you said that I was watching I don't know why you were saying Snoop Lion now I thought, I didn't believe it either, guys. I was like, I'll be back to dog. And then I thought he just smoked too much weed with Willie. Willie, may he rest in peace. And, um, and it, he's, he's staying a lion. That's like a really big deal, though, you guys. Think about it. Going from a dog to a lion, like, damn, that was a soul transformation for sure. Probably more peaceful now, huh? But anyway, I didn't put on the show. I point out, you don't ever have me putting it on. I was just there. And I just, I told you, I'd watch the show until, I always liked it, because you can always find it, until the point where the, whoever's on the show as the guest would realize they're too fucking high. Like, damn, that's some strong weed, though. I thought I smoked weed. I didn't smoke any weed until I met you. This is amazing. And then I would leave. Okay. Um, because that shit's funny when they're like, dong, <laughs> like, realize. Like, damn, I'm high. I'm like, well, that shit's funny. They're all sitting there like, I can handle that. <laughs> Snoop's like... Okay, um, and then, um, Will Smith, you guys said that I was, like, thought I was him yeah, or something? What? And I was like, no, it, that, what the fuck? When I was 13, I had a fever. And, and 30 minutes, because the episode, I point out 30 minutes for that, um, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. My fever, and I was just picking up on the audio, so I was just whoever the main character would have been, I would have been. It had nothing to do with music, actually. The voice. You guys said I was like on the voice or trying to get on the voice or something. I said there's someone in France. I have it recorded though. Someone in France who talked about he wanted to get the voice. I don't give him musical advice. I gave him uh, how to present yourself advice. Why? Well, yeah, it's marketing shit. You know, I'm from LA. Like what you should do, what you should wear, kind of what you should say, etc. Kind of type type thing get noticed and whatnot. And then I point out, the only thing I ever said about the voice was I used to do audience work for it. Okay, so. Sarah, you guys used that to say that um, I I speak French now because I know okay, Sarah, Sarah, and I go, I point out, very next line, she translates it. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not as you see. Okay, sada, sada. And I also point out that Doris Day, who's made that song the most popular, is an American. Woo! The Beatles. You, I put up a bunch of Beatles songs to show you the influence over um, Nirvana and uh, Elliot Smith, and then you guys said she picked that from the. T that's all top ten Beatles songs, and I said, no, it's not. And I actually gave you the official top ten according to Rolling Stone, and I go, and there weren't even ten songs. There's like thirteen or fourteen, and like four or five of those songs aren't even the Beatles. They're John Lennon. Woo! And then I point out, no, I'm picking the most topical songs, and if you're saying I'm just cherry-picking for title, uh, no, because then I would have picked Revolution. That seems obvious from the title, but the lyrics are not what I want. If I'm picking top ten, it wouldn't even make sense, because 
for example, Strawberry Fields Forever wouldn't really be a good choice. Eleanor Rigby would be in no way applicable. You know, fucking Buffalo Bill might not want be what I need to go for, all things considered. Or some nonsense song like, you know, I Am the Walrus or some shit, the Yellow Submarine. It might not be a fucking love Norwegian wood, but it wasn't have to do with anything, right? Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds might be a bad choice. <laughs> now, when I picked Helter Skelter, it showed a knowledge. Why? Because I would have to know that the Mansons did Helter Skelter shit. Okay? So, that's not top ten and it's pretty obscure. Nor would it be wise for me to pick, I don't know, Happiness is a Warm Gun, for example. Yeah! Okay, so the songs that I picked were topical and not top ten. Then I point out that John Lennon, you're saying New York John Lennon, that that's why I picked him is because I'm from New York or something, and I point out New York killed John Lennon, and actually he had a house in LA if you want to get down to it. Yeah, and actually he's not from there. He's from, uh, Liverpool, I think. New York killed a man. What are you fucking talking about right now? Yeah, okay. And then I point that John Lennon's been an inspiration to me for passive resistance. And you see, throughout this, I've posted various John Lennon quotes and such, including one I recently had as a profile picture that was like, the government will do what it can to agitate you into violence, and as long as you say weird and funny, then what can they do? I'm definitely butchering and paraphrasing, but the, and that's, that's another point of inspiration. Jesus Christ. Okay. Speaking of which, people got hella hostile. I don't think they read his quote correctly. He goes, we were, we were bigger than... Jesus was when he was alive. And everyone ah, freaked out and burned all those albums. I'm like, but that's accurate though. Jesus wasn't like worldwide popular when he was alive. Everyone, ah, just to show you, people just freak out to freak out, man. So, anyway. He also started talking about high societies right before he died, by the way. He started getting into conspiracy, political conspiracy shit. So, anyway, just think about it for a second, guys.